So in my last video, we had a discussion about whether or not people are physically, who are physically fit and healthy, um, out and earn people that are not. And what we found out was that people who are physically fit and healthy tend to earn on average a higher income than people that are not. And, and so, and what we really began to discover that it was possibly because of their habits. So for me, it brought me back to a situation or, or when I was 13 rather. Um, and when I was 13, I ran track in high school. I had just gotten to high school. And at one of our meets, we had a coach come out. His name was Luke Bienvenu. And hi, Luke, if you're still around, I'm sure you are. And uh, Luke was looking and scouting for some new runners. And he chose four girls from my high school. And it's this little high school in the middle of nowhere in the eastern townships of Quebec. And I remember when Luke started working with me, he asked this really quite clear question. He asked us if we wanted to be good runners, really good runners. And I was 13, wide-eyed, and the answer was, of course I do. Yes, I do. And he asked the question again, do you want to be an excellent runner, one of the best runners? And being 13, I was like, absolutely, I definitely do. But then he asked the question a third time, and it was like, well, why would he ask it a third time? And he said, you know, do you want to be the best of the best? And, you know, I was like, yes, but now I'm getting a little impatient. But what he said next has always stuck with me. He said that if you want to be a great runner, an excellent runner, the best of the best, you would have to become a great runner now. You would have to embody the habits, the lifestyle, the attitudes, and the behaviors of great runners. And so, you know, as, I, as I'm older, I, what I understand he's saying is that you'd have to become that which you seek now. And so as he began to train us, he really trained us like top athletes. He told us uh, when we were supposed to train, and what times we were supposed to train, and we often trained in the summer, particularly twice a day. He told us that what we were supposed to eat and what we were not allowed to eat. He told us, um, you know, what our attitude was going to be like, what our work ethic was going to be like. And so he started us on strength and conditioning. And that was my first introduction to, to weight training and circuit training. I remember it was called circuit fraconnier. And it was, you know, just circuit training. And I remember one practice, uh, he brought us to the bottom of this, this mountain to me in the time. And he said our practice was to run up this mountain. And we all looked at him like, well, he was nuts. And he started running and he said, you better get going. And I never thought I could do it, but we pushed and we pushed through our discomfort, the heaviest the heaviness in our legs. And we got to the top of that, that hill. And we felt so amazing when we got to the top of this mountain. And I remember there was a big cross at the top and looking down and going, wow, we just ran this. And then another practice, he took us to this, uh, and to me, it was a cow field, a cow pasture, I don't know what they're called. And he had us do our intervals in that field. And he said that if we, we were going to have to get our knees up, or else we would fall, and it would actually extend our stride. And so there we were, and we were running through this field. And then one day, he brought us, we, I got to practice, and it was one of those hot, hot summer days. And I was sure we were not going to get on the track, because in that day, the track was tar, it was, it was, uh, it was hot and you could just see the steam rising off and he hosed down the track and told us to get into our blocks and we were practicing starts of all things that day and there, you know, you gotta get out fast. And, um, and we continued these different things. And, and, and as he trained us, we, our mindset began to change, our behaviors began to change. We matured into different people. When he put us on the track that next summer, and we did we did a lot of stuff off the track, and we didn't get into the track until track season actually began. And when he put us back on the track, I remember our first race because when we were crossing the finish, the finish line, many of the other teams were still passing the third baton. Our speed had increased so much that it was mind-boggling even to us as runners. And then he brought us to uh, an, a national, uh, championship and four little girls from the, from a small school in the middle of nowhere 
broke the four by one indoor relay, you know, record, four by one record. And what stuck with me was that that race was won the day he asked those questions because he had us become what he desired and he treated us like winners. And when I was thinking that he was creating great athletes, he was actually creating successful people. He was developing the mindset and the habits that would have us win, not only on the track and in life. So when you go back to my question of why physically fit and healthy people tend to earn more income is because that the discipline of taking care of your body is the most intimate relationship you'll ever have. It is you mastering yourself. And that level of mastery in the same way we mastered ourselves in order to win those races and become better runners is the same mastery that you apply into your business, into your finances, into your relationship. And it's that mastery, those habits that have you win and success leave ha these clues. The last thing I'll say to you is when I was doing my research, they said that millionaires, self-made millionaires, have some key habits in common. One is they go to bed early and they sleep between, I think it's seven, about seven hours a night. Two is they're part of the five o'clock club. So they wake up between five and six and they work on their personal self during that time. Three is they exercise and move their body about 3.5 hours every single week. And the fourth one was they tend to have a healthier than average meal plan. And so, and that level of personal mastery and discipline they believe impacts how they are in business. So to physically fit people, earn more income above average. And the reason is why is because of their level of mastery and their habits impact everything else in their life. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Talk to you soon.